It can be really annoying to find a specific photo of your new puppy from a particular date. Or maybe you want to find a photo of a loved one from a specific vacation that you took. I'm going to show you some awesome photo searching tips so you can find that puppy. Photos on the Mac has some really awesome search capabilities. Uh, it will actually automatically detect certain shapes in your photos. So you can just type dog up in the search box here and then click on the suggestion and it will give you photos of dogs. And you can click see all if you want to see all of the search results. Sometimes it's wrong. Uh, this is a cat. Uh, you can also type puppy, you'll get the same results. If you type food, you're going to get photos of food. If you type beach, you're going to get photos of beaches. You get the idea. Um, more words are added over time as Apple improves their machine learning. So you can just keep testing that. You can also search by date. So if I want to find photos that I took in 2019, if I just type 2019, it will give me those results. I can look for photos that I took in May and it will give me those results. I can also look for photos that I took in May of 2019. I show you this quickly so that you know you can just experiment with it in your own library. The cool thing that you can do with these search abilities, these search tokens in the top right, is you can combine them. So I can type dog and then click on this suggestion here. And then I can type April and click on this suggestion. So I get two different search tokens at the same time. And now I'm seeing photos of dogs that I took in April. So it's a super cool way of really honing in on and finding the photo that you're looking for. Photos also has the ability to do facial recognition and start to recognize people. When you take photos from your phone, it will geotag the photo, meaning that the GPS location will be saved in the photo. So you can see people on the left here and you can see places on the left here and it'll actually show you a map. You can zoom in with your two fingers on your laptop or the little plus and minus thing in the bottom right here. Um, and if you click on this, it'll actually show you all of the photos that you took in that area. Now, if I go back to my main list of photos, let's say that I want to find photos of Lucas in Portugal. I just do a search up in the top right here and look for Lucas and then click on this suggestion. And then I just type Portugal as a second search token. And those two are both up there. And these two photos here will be of Lucas in Portugal. So it's a really cool way of finding a photo of a person in a specific place. Uh, if you want to improve the facial recognition, you just go into the people album. You might need to wait. It might be like mine is currently scanning and adding more photos, but you can double click on a person and then go down to the bottom and click confirm additional photos to find more photos of that person. Um, if you want to fix the location of a photo, you can click on the photo, click on the little I or press command I on the keyboard to get info on the photo. And then you can type the location or change the location here in the location box. You can just start typing and it will auto complete. So then when you close that, it will save that location. And next time you do a search for that location, it will come up. There's a whole lot more you can do with searching, including uh, keywords. You can assign keywords to photos beforehand and then find them quickly later. You can use the filters. So you can, instead of showing all items, you can choose only favorites or only edited photos, only photos or only videos. Uh, you can also do smart albums. So you could, for example, say new smart album and you want to find photos that were taken on camera model includes your iPhone or includes your Canon camera. And then this smart album will show you those photos. There's a whole lot of pro tips in that. And uh, if you reach out to me or my team, we will absolutely schedule a time to help you with that. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. Boom, Mac a pup finny. Oh, he did it. All right. <laughs> no. You know that's going to no. appear in that Oh, God. It'll be in the blooper. It'll be a blooper. All right.